Before we wrap up this section, let's learn one more important concept about Angular modules and lazy loading. In the services and dependency injection section, we learned that we can provide a service from different places in our Angular application and it can affect the functionality of the application or it can also introduce some bugs. So let's recap what we learned there and then we will also learn what happens when we provide a service on a eager loaded module and a lazy loaded module. So from our previous learnings, we know that we can provide an Angular service from the app module or we can also provide a service using this provided in property or we can also provide a service on a component. So when we provide a service using provided in property and we set it to root at that time, the same instance of that service is available throughout the Angular application. So the same instance will be available in all the directives, all the components, all the pipes, etc. And same thing is true for app module as well. When we provide a service in the providers array of app module, in that case, the same instance of that Angular service is available throughout the application. The same behavior as we have it for provided in property. Now, we can also provide an Angular service on a component. And when we provide a service on a component, in that case, the same instance of that service is available in that component and its child component and their child components. The same instance will not be available in any other component. Other components will have a different instance. Only that component where we are providing that service, that will get an instance and the same instance will be passed to its child components and their child components, unless we are overriding that instance in the child components. So this we already know from our services and dependency injection section. Now let's learn what happens when we provide a service on an eager loaded module or in a lazy loaded module. So when we provide a service in a eager loaded module at that time also, the same instance of that service is available throughout the Angular application. So the behavior will be same like providing a service in the app module. Okay. When we provide a service in the eager loaded module, in that case, the same instance of that service will be available throughout the Angular application. But that is not the case with lazy loaded modules. In case of a lazy loaded module, when we provide a service in the providers array of a lazy loaded module, in that case, the same instance of that service is available in that module only. That instance will not be available in other modules of our Angular application that instance will be available only in that particular lazy loaded module. Okay, so the same instance of that service will be available in all the components, directives and pipes of that particular lazy loaded module. That instance will not be available in the components or directives of any other module. I hope this point is clear. Now let's try to understand this practically. Let's go to VS Code. And here we have the app module which is our root module we have this auth module which is a lazy loaded module then we also have this dashboard module which is also a lazy loaded module then we also have a shared module so here we have this shared module and this shared module is not a lazy loaded module this is an eager loaded module so if we use this shared module in our app module in that case, it will be loaded eagerly. But when we are using this shared module in this auth module or in this dashboard module here, at that time, this shared module will be loaded lazily because we are importing it in the lazy loaded module. Then this core module also, this is also a eager loaded module because we are not loading it lazily. It will be eagerly loaded. So now what I'm going to do is, let me close these files for now. And what I will do is, I'll create a new service file. For that, let's go to services folder. And there I will create a service file. And I'm going to call it counter service. Okay. In here, let's go ahead and let's create and export a class and let's call this class counter service. Now, 
this is just a dummy service which I am creating in order to explain the theory which we have just learned. And there is no use of this service in this application. This is just for explanation purpose. Here I am going to decorate this counter service with at injectable decorator. And to use this at injectable decorator, we also need to import it from Angular slash go. And there we can use provided in. So here we are providing this service from root. This simply means that wherever we will inject an instance of this service, the same instance will be injected everywhere throughout our Angular application. When we use this provided in property on a service, in that case, the same instance of that service will be available throughout the Angular application. And we will just see that. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a counter variable, a counter property, which is going to be of type number. And initially I'm going to set it to zero. Okay. And here let's create a function. Let's call it increment. You can name this function anything. This function, it is going to take parameters, component name, which is going to be of type string. Okay. And what from this function we are going to do is we are simply going to log the component name. Then I'll add some string here like this. And then we'll also display the counter value. So I'll simply say this dot counter plus plus. All right. So when the first time this increment function will be called at that time, it will log the component name from where we are calling it. Plus it will increment the value of this counter to one. Then when the second time this increment function will be called on the same instance of this counter service, in that case, again, it will log the component name from where we are calling it. Plus it will increment the current value of this counter to two. Okay, let's save this service. And now let's go ahead and let's inject this service in maybe header component. So let's go to header component.ts. Here I'm going to ask Angular to inject an instance of counter service. And it is going to be of type counter service. We also need to import it. And here we are going to use the inject function to ask Angular to inject an instance of this counter service. Okay, and then from within this ng on in it, at this line, I'm going to call this dot counter service dot increment. And here I will pass the component name. Here the component name is header component. So I'm going to pass it as string. Okay, now let me go ahead and let me inject an instance of this counter service in one of the lazy loaded modules so maybe in the login module let's go to login component.ts there we do not have ng on in it so let's go ahead and let's add ng on in it here okay here again i'll ask angular to inject an instance of counter service okay and in here again we will say this dot counter service dot increment and let's pass the component name here login component and we are going to do the same thing in dashboard component also so let's go to dashboard folder there maybe let's go to this create task folder and in the create task component let's add ng on in it again Okay, before that, let's ask Angular to inject an instance of this counter service. And then in the ng on in it, we'll simply say this dot counter service dot increment. And here let's pass the component name as create task component. And this should be a string value. Let's save the changes here. Okay, here we have an error because we need to import this inject from angular slash co. Save the changes. So here, when we are providing this counter service using this provided in property, in that case, the same instance will be injected to all the components, directives, pipes throughout the angular application. That means here, this dot counter service 
this counter service is an instance this instance which we are receiving in this header component is same as the instance which we are going to receive for the login component and it will be same instance which we are also going to receive for this create task component at this line so if you save the changes and if we go to our application and there let's open developer console let's clear everything so before that you will see that it says header component and the counter value is zero and it says login component and the counter value is one so this header component it is present in app module so initially the app module will load and when the app module will load this header component will be executed and there we are calling the increment function of counter service so at that time the initial value of counter is zero so zero is logged here and after that after loading the app module since the url here is localhost slash login when we are in this url it is also going to load the auth module and this login component it is present inside that auth module so from this login component also we are calling the increment function and there we are logging the value of counter by incrementing it by one so you see one is logged here now when i log in here and when we go to dashboard component and when i click on this login button so we'll be redirected to dashboard component at that time the dashboard module will be loaded okay now here we have added that service in the create task component so let's click on this create task button it will open the create task component and there you see create task component and the counter value is two so initially it was zero when the header component was loaded then it was one when the login component was loaded and then it was two when the create task component is loaded and this value is incrementing because all these components are receiving the same instance right and the same behavior you will see if you provide this service in the providers array so instead of using this provided in property here like this if you provide this counter service in the providers array of app module so here let's go ahead and let's add providers array and there if we provide that service then in this case also the behavior will be same let me actually show you that so let's clear everything here let me log out let's again clear everything and let me restart the page by going to root url so when we are in the root url at that time this header component will be loaded and the counter value is zero let's go to login link and when i click on this login link the auth module will be loaded and there we have the login component so when that one is loaded at that time the counter value has incremented to one and when i will log in and i will go to create task component at that time the counter value will be incremented to two let me actually show you again so let's say john smith at gmail.com and let's specify the password okay so as soon as i click on this create task button you will see that the counter value has incremented to two so we have the same behavior when we provide a service using provided in property or when we provide a service in the providers array of app module then we can also provide a service on a component level now i'm not going to show you that because we have already learned all these things in the services and dependency injection section so i'm not going to explain those things again but here what i want to show you is if i don't provide this counter service in the app module or by using the provided in property but if i provide this service on an eagerly loaded module now in this example we have only one eagerly loaded module which is this shared module but the shared module will be loaded eagerly based on where we are importing it if we are importing it in a eagerly loaded module in that case it will be loaded eagerly if we are importing it in a lazy loaded module in that case it will be loaded lazily so here we don't have any true eagerly loaded module so i cannot show you that with an example but you'll have to just trust me on this that when we provide a service in the providers array of an eagerly loaded module in that case also the same instance of that service will be available throughout the angular application okay now let's go ahead and let's provide the counter service in one of the lazy loaded modules maybe let's provide it in the auth module 
so here we have the auth module here let's go ahead and let's add providers array and there let's provide the counter service let's save the changes and i hope i have removed it from the app module yes all right so let's go to our application again okay here you see we have an error and the error is because we are using the counter service in header component also so in order to use it in the header component we need to provide that service somewhere right so let's also provide it here in the app module okay let's save the changes let's go back to our application again so now there is no error what i'll do is i will simply log out from here first and we will restart the application by going to root url and when we are in the root url the header component is loaded at that time you see the counter count is zero now if the same instance is available in the auth module also in that case the counter value should increase to one otherwise again it will be zero right let's see if that's the case so here if i click on this login the auth module will be loaded and you see when the auth module has loaded at that time the counter value is zero that means the instance of the counter service which we have received in the login component is different from the instance which we have received in the header component that's why the value is zero here otherwise initial value was zero it should have been incremented to one then let's also try to log in and go to dashboard component so let's log in here okay now let's click on this create task button and when we click on this create task button you will see that the counter value has incremented to one now why it has incremented to one because this create task component it is present in the dashboard module and the dashboard module is receiving the same instance which we are providing from the app module because in the dashboard module we are not explicitly providing the counter service so in the dashboard module also we are going to receive the same instance which is provided from the app module but in the auth module we are going to receive a different instance of the counter service so again when we provide a service from an eagerly loaded module the same instance of that service will be available throughout the angular application unless it is overridden somewhere okay but in the case of lazy loaded module if we provide a service in the providers array of a lazy loaded module then that same instance of that service will be available only in that module that instance will not be available in other modules so this is very important to understand and why i wanted to cover this is because this can lead to a lot of bugs in your application if you don't understand this concept all right so this is all from this lecture and this is all from this section if you have any questions related to angular modules or lazy loading then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day